How you doing? You can see Riley right in front of me. I will show you uh, feeding him and how to remove his bowl and where he is in terms of um, uh, not aggressing at uh, his handler, owner, foster caregiver uh, during feeding. You also notice he has a line on him and a nylon uh, slip collar. And the reason is because I'm not going to become a sparring partner for Riley. I'm going to use the obedience to allow him to to allow me to take the food away, and uh, it's going to work out in his benefit, as you'll see. Hopefully, it goes all as planned. And in the future, whoever owns Riley should certainly for the first several months have him feed him with a line on. Makes it very easy. They should also let him have drag the line around a little bit, just in general, to get to have control of him when they need it. Alright. Sit. Who's sit? Awesome sit. Okay. So you just noticed that I, I made him sit. But more than just sit and stare at the food, I made him look at me. He hears me talking. He's stopping to eat to check in with me. He'll actually stop eating when I walk into the room more often than not. And I can then reach down, grab his bowl, and then uh, one day he didn't actually eat when I left the room. So it's working out very well. And uh, let's see how it goes here. So, that time you saw he just stood up away from the bowl, I put my hand in it, pushed it towards him, fed him from the bowl, and then made him sit, fed him again, and then got the eye contact, extended eye contact, not just a glance, and then he gets to eat. And we'll go on like this as many times as I want, and uh, first week was um, difficult, there was some, some uh, protest. Got less consistent as the week went on. And the last two weeks have been very, very consistent in terms of him just stopping his eating and allowing me to uh, approach him. He has no trouble with outs, uh, with a tennis ball, especially if you do a trade out with a little food. But he'll allow you to put your hand on the tennis ball in his mouth and take it away from him without any protest whatsoever. Uh, he hasn't guarded any resources that I've seen. And I've given him plenty. I've even given him food bits on the ground and he'll give them up. He just doesn't need a sparring partner. He needs someone who's going to make him work, and he'll uh, be fair with him. Give him a correction if he needs it, and the correction for this, which simply, which is why we have the line, is to make him sit. Apply upward pressure with the line, with the slip collar, till he sits. Release the pressure, and then feed him from the bowl. Again, it's not lecturing him. It's not battling with him. I'm not putting big, heavy gloves on and getting in his getting in his space. I simply taught him that there's no benefit to him to not let me have the food. When there is a benefit, when he lets me have it, and I'm not trying to take it away. I'll feed him a little, but I can take it away if I want. And there you have it.